Hello, and thank you for taking the time to be a part of the Piscataway High School experience. My name is Dr. Frank Brinelli, and I'm the Superintendent of Schools here in Piscataway. As this year looks very different, we are still here to support students and families in many different ways. I would like to begin by thanking different groups of people for all the support they give us on here. Our wonderful high school staff, our K-8 high school and high school administrative staff, our Board of Education members, and all other groups that continue to be dedicated to our students and families. Tonight you are going to hear about a lot of specific things in our great high school. Our academics, extracurricular clubs and activities, athletics, our many levels of support, and many others. You're also going to hear from many different people who are always here to help you. I want to take the time to discuss the positive culture and that feeling we get at DHS. That feeling of comfort. That feeling of being challenged. That feeling of having choices. That feeling of responsibility. The feeling of support. And most of all, the feeling of being taken care of. DHS may seem like a very large place, but we work hard to give students that small family feeling. There's something for every student to get involved in positive activities and great experiences to support your learning. We also have the best teachers and one of the most challenging academic programs in the state. Now, obviously, I'm biased. I'm extremely proud to be the superintendent of Scattered Township Schools, but I am most proud of the culture, the support system, and that feeling you get when you walk our halls. These last 10 months have been challenging to all of us in many different ways. We look forward to September when we can welcome our entire class of 2025 to our great high school. Thank you. Good evening, future freshmen, and good evening, future Scattered High School parents and guardians. You're about to take a big step, and this evening is all about helping you take that step in the right direction. Throughout tonight's presentation, you'll learn about the tremendous academic programs offered at Scattaway High School. The depth and breadth of programs offerings means that students who already know where their strong interests lie can begin a structured academic path towards advanced courses in their junior and senior years. It also means that students who have not yet discovered their academic passion area can choose electives that expose them to a variety of subjects. Students often find their passion for learning through extracurricular clubs and activities, and tonight we will introduce you to those as well. You will learn about athletics and the arts, robotics, and junior ROTC. The television studio, radio station, business-related clubs, and so much more. The decisions you will make both academically and socially will put you on a path to realize your goals and dreams. So tonight, listen, look, and learn. Listen with a critical ear, look with a critical eye, and learn to problem solve by critically understanding the choices before you. We're excited to present them to you and all that Scattery High School has to offer. And we wish you the best of luck in the next step of your academic journey. Good evening. My name is Jonathan Bazell. I'm the assistant principal for the class of 2021. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Piscataway High School. My hope is that you take advantage of all the resources that we have to offer. Thank you, be safe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Please welcome Caitlin Napoli. Hello, class of 2025. My name is Caitlin Napoli. I am a senior at Piscataway High School. And although I won't get to see all of your faces in the halls of PHS, I am honored to officially welcome you to the Chief Pack. Um, a little bit more about me, I am a part of the Biomedical Academy at the high school. I am a three season varsity athlete with cross country, swim and spring track where I am also the captain of the cross country team and the distance spring track team. I am also a part of the National Honor Society and I'm a member of the choir. Um, I wanted to take a few moments to share with all of you the things that I wish I knew when I was in your shoes when I was an incoming freshman and things that if I had known it would have helped me a whole lot more along my high school journey. The first thing is that you are well prepared. This is a new experience. This is something that you have never experienced before you're entering high school and that's a big step. But what you should know is that you are so well prepared. Your middle school teachers knew exactly what they were doing and they still know what they're doing because you're still in their classes. They are preparing you every single day to enter this next stage of your educational career. 
Um, when it comes down to that kind of thing, this should be an exciting experience as opposed to a nerve wracking and scary experience like a lot of the movies tell us it should be. It's not like that and you are gonna be just fine. The second thing that I wanna to talk to you about is ask questions. I think that a lot of times people create these stereotypes that the kid that stays after class to ask questions or raises their hand during class is a negative thing. And it's not. Ask the questions. Not only are you going to excel and you are going to have a better understanding of the material that you're learning, but it's also going to show your teacher that you are taking the initiative and wanting to learn more about the curriculum and put yourself in the best shoes possible to do well in the class. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you about is that you should get involved. I listed a lot of extracurricular activities. There's more than just that. And that has been what has sculpted my high school career. Without those things, it would have just been class. And unfortunately, you need those teams and those groups and clubs to really create families and connections. And I definitely recommend joining some clubs and some sports teams. Um, so that's all for me. I just wanted to say good luck with the rest of your eighth grade year. And I'm so excited to see everything that you do in the following years of your high school career. Bye. Hello, my name is Dr. Maria Chetta. I am the assistant principal for the class of 2022, our current juniors. My office is located in the Anthony wing, specifically the D wing of the Anthony building. I work with Mr. Calvo, Dean of Students for the class of 2022, and Ms. Sanchez, Secretary to the office. Some of my other roles include NJSLA testing, AP testing, PSAT testing, and home instruction. Next, you're gonna hear from two students in the class of 2022. Julius, our student council president, for our class and Anaya, our junior representative to the Board of Education. We appreciate you taking the time to get to know Piscataway High School, one of the very best places for students to learn and succeed. Have a great day. Hello, <laughs> I hope you're doing well during these, for lack of a better word, precarious times. My name is Julius Atalantar and I am the president of the 2022 class council. Now, I was given the prompt, what is my favorite thing about Piscataway High School? What do I absolutely adore? And well, from to be frank, it may be cliched, but my favorite aspect about Piscataway High School is the people that inhabit it. Merely the sole purpose being, we are not just the titles we are assigned when we walk in. Educators are not just educators, teachers, not just teachers, administrative staff like principals and APs, not just principals and APs. They are genuinely people that care about you and your well-being and, well, even students care about each other. There's a sense of colloquialism, might I even argue family, between all of us. When an unfortunate event occurs, we all feel sympathy and pain, even if we have never met the person or they're not even within our grade. And that is something that I find amazing, astounding about our school. The sense of community, the amount of compassion we have towards each other. It is something that not many people have nowadays. In a world that is as cold as it is now, PHS is a bastion of hope. A place of warmth in the cold winter wind. And for that, that is the reason why I adore PHS. And that is all thanks to you. The people that go to our school continue to be the kind-hearted people and never forget compassion, never forget mercy, never forget any of that. Because we need that in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anaya Lawhorn. I'm currently a junior at Piscataway High School and I'm also the student rep for the junior class as well. Um, some of the things that I got involved in at school was class council. I'm part of SGA, which is Student Government Association. I joined track my freshman year and I tried out for the cheer team this past summer and I made varsity, but we didn't get to have a season due to COVID. So hopefully next year, um, everything works out well and we can have a season as well. Um, 
So um, one of the major things that I wanted to know in eighth grade was how much work we were actually going to be getting in high school. Because I know my teachers always made a point on how we were like the work was going to get a little bit more intense as we did transition over into high school and we were have to go we were going to have to be more responsible with ourselves and our work as well and they definitely were right about that i think my freshman year a couple months in i realized that they were definitely right um the thing i did to deal with that was I always ask my teachers for help. If I didn't understand something or had a question on something, I always went to them, they helped me out. You can even ask them for um, help after school. They will set aside time for you, can help you out, give you some um, advice, some help on whatever it is that you need help on. Um, another thing that I did was I leaned on my peers for support as well as we were all going through the same thing. I think that it's really important to have a good group of people around you to always help you um, with anything that you need. You can be very supportive of each other as well. And the last thing I did to help me was go to my counselors. Um, I always talked to them about anything that I was going through with uh, like a lot of work that I had. They helped me understand how to better manage my time because in freshman year, my time management was not good, but it did get better as time went on. So. Yeah, always go to your counselors if you need any help with anything like that, how to manage your time, your schedule, anything like that. Um, I think the thing that makes PHS really special is the fact that it's a very diverse school. We all get to learn something about each other. And I think that since we um, all kind of went to kindergarten and elementary school together and now we're back together in high school, it's kind of nice seeing the friends that you had when you were younger and we were all very supportive of each other. Um, it, feel, it really feels like a family at PHS. We're all very supportive. Everybody works hard to do what they have to do and it's a very, and the community helps as well too. And I think that's the main thing that makes PHS special. So I can't wait to see the incoming freshmen next year. I know you guys are going to do great, and I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Dr. Matt Ritchie, and I'm the assistant principal for the class of 2023. I'd like to welcome all of you to our annual P-Way Experience Night. I once sat exactly where you're sitting as an eighth grade student. I, too, wondered what Piscataway High School might offer me. And when I graduated in the class of 1999, I can tell you, that I was provided the skills and the habits that have lasted me until today. Our academics, our athletics, and our extracurricular clubs and activities are something that many schools in this state still aspire to be. If you ever need me, you can always find me in the patent building in the main office where I am located. But in terms of the programs and everything that we have to offer as a high school experience, don't just take my word for it. Allow me to introduce two members of the class of 2023. Ms. Madison Boxley and Mr. James Whitney. Hi, my name is Madison Boxley. I am a sophomore at Piscataway High School. I play basketball and run track for Piscataway. I am also in the Visual Arts Academy. When I was in eighth grade, I did not have many concerns about high school, but I did want to know more about the grading policy and the schedule and how different teachers have different policies. High school is very different from middle school. There are higher expectations, different rules, but if you work hard and do your best, you will definitely exceed those expectations. Now that I'm in high school, I have seen many kids grow and develop into young men and women, and it's just amazing how much people can grow and how you can grow with others together. Now that I'm in high school, I was very worried about where I would fit in and how everything would play out. But now I'm very accustomed to this environment and I found people that I can trust and I just feel very comfortable now. High school has also made me realize that it's not always about making friends, it's about learning and learning how to become an adult and to be prepared for the life ahead of you. I was always worried about making friends. I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna make friends? But high school is not always about making friends. I've learned that it takes a lot to become an adult 
And in high school, that's the main focus. But it's also nice to, you know, make friends here or there. I enjoy being a student here. I enjoy meeting new people, having more opportunities, and having trustworthy teachers. The teachers and staff here are, they're just amazing. Like, there's no other way to explain it. They will help you. They will make you comfortable in any way, shape, or form. And I look forward to coming back to school because of COVID-19. Now that we will hopefully have a vaccine, and I look forward to seeing everyone's faces again. Hello, incoming eighth graders. My name is James Whitney IV. I'm a sophomore here at the Piscataway High School, and I'm in the 50 Strong program and the Principal Student Council. So some things I wanted to know as an eighth grader was to put a lot of effort and work, take work seriously. So good effort looks like being managed under your time, not procrastinating, not doing what you want, not doing something because it's fun or wasting time or anything. You have to sort of delay what you want right then in that moment. You want to kind of think about your future because everything is connected to what you do in high school. Um, by not putting in the effort, you lessen your chances at getting what you want in the future. For example, my ninth grade year, I in social studies class, I did not want to do the work for the first and second marking period, and my grade showed that. I could have went to a higher social studies course, but because I didn't do the work and I didn't put in the effort, I went to a lower one, and that's affecting me now. Uh, the second thing I wanted to know was building and connecting, building um, trust with teachers and connecting to them. It's good so that they can understand you better, better and you can understand them better. Um, you also want to get to know your counselor because by getting to know your counselor, you get everything you need to know for college starting from your freshman year. Um, you have relationships. The teachers are going to be more willing to help you. Um, they, it's going to show them that you care and that you respect them, which is more likely when you go become a senior to get your recommendation letters. They're gonna to wanna to write it for you. They're gonna to wanna to help you, support you, move on into your next stage of education. Um, definitely, I wanted to know, do it. clubs is a very important part. Um, don't just pick a club because it looks good for on a resume or an application. Do it because you like it. Get involved, maybe one or two. That's perfect. Um, some things may be hard to talk about. Um, so there's the Haven where you can go and talk about anything that's bothering you and anything that's affecting your life that you don't want to talk about with teachers or anything. Um, and the third thing that I wanted to know was student interactions. You want to build trust with upperclassmen. You want to, because they know more than you're going to know in ninth grade. They're going to have everything that you had from ninth grade to 10 to 11. It's like seniors will know everything upperclassmen, having an interaction with upperclassmen and your own peers because they're going to want to support you and they're going to want to, like, they're going to support you and they're going to help you when you are feeling down or ill or anything. Thank you. Greetings, class of 2025. My name is Ms. Fisher Griffin. I am the assistant principal of the current freshman class. And by the time you guys get here, I'll be moving on up to become the sophomore assistant principal. My office can be found in the G Wing. That's where you'll find plenty of our science classes, our arts classes, our music classes. And at the very end, one of the things that we have, unlike any other high school, is our very own radio and TV station. Um, as well as you'll find our tech help desk is right at the end of our G Wing hallway. So just wanted to say welcome um, on behalf of the current freshmen. And I have two that will be sharing some information with you about their experience and their transition during this time. Uh, good luck to you the rest of your eighth grade year. This is a very important year as you transition to high school. And we look forward to seeing you one day in the halls here at PHS. At this time, I'd like to introduce one of our fabulous freshmen by the name of Jeet. Jeet has a message for you. Hello and good morning. I am Jeet Patel, a freshman at Piscataway High School. I am a part of the Engineering Academy, which is one of many academies that helps you go towards your career in the future. Before coming to high school, I wish there was a few things I was told. First of all, 
I wish I was told that not everything is going to be as hard and as stressful as you would think. Because when, when I was I was scared uh, that in high school, I was going to have too much work. Um, all of my teachers were going to assign me hours of homework every day. And like I was going to have to understand everything on my own. But when I actually got here, I learned that the teachers were very friendly and they like if you need help they will um gladly spend their lunch time going through anything that you need help with and in middle school a lot of my teachers told me that high school isn't going to be the same it's going to be much harder you're not going to be able to have the same freedoms and I, I don't think that's true as of being a freshman as a freshman all the teachers are like helping you transition into high school they're very friendly and they're very like helpful if you miss a due date they'll give you chances uh they'll give you chances to help you i guess make up the work and if you have any problems you can let your teacher know and uh he or she will help you out with anything and yeah they are super kind super friendly and I wish that I was told that the teachers were going to be this nice because I was just, the first day of school, I was scared that I was going to have so much work. I'm not going to be able to keep up with it all. And I was not going to do well. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to Haley. Haley is one of our fabulous freshmen who has some information to share with you. Let's listen in. Hi, I'm Haley Rudowitz and I'm a freshman at Piscataway High School. Although at the moment I'm in no clubs because of virtual learning and corona, I was going to try out for the girls soccer team before it got canceled. I went to one or two practices and I had a really good time and I definitely recommend if you're interested in soccer. Going to high school, I was very nervous and excited mostly to meet new people. Although we haven't even gone into school yet, I've already made so many relationships and grown past relationships. Because of this, I was able to rid the bad people from my life. And it led me to see the people who really supported my decision and wanted me to be happy. My number one piece of advice is to be kind to everyone, including your teachers, your peers, and to also speak up in class because while it may seem like embarrassing if you get the question wrong or weird for you to be having a conversation with your teacher it really makes the whole learning environment so much better i also suggest that you work really hard in your classes but you keep in mind that grades aren't everything because no matter how hard you work you're never going to get that perfect grade but if you still work hard you're going to know that in your heart you're doing the best you can Anyway, I hope your freshman experience can be just as eye-opening as me. Good luck.